Mad Max, where are we going today? Well, Dirty Dave, we're going on an adventure. A uh, few months ago, I found this list published by a website called PA Bucket List. And I'll put a link in the description for anyone interested. And in that list is 30 abandoned places you can still explore, like legally, in the state. So, we're actually going to go up to Jim Fork today and check one of them out. And that would be the Turnbull Tunnel in Lehigh Gorge State Park. And the funny thing is, of all, I've never been to any of these places on this list, but I've actually, except for, um, I should say, except for this one, I've actually been to it a long time ago. I've been there a long time ago too, but it's it's been a long time. Yeah, I, I think the last time I actually laid eyes in that tunnel, I was probably about 11 or 12, so it's it's been a solid 20 years. Well, just rolled out of bed, got my coffee. Yeah, let's hit it. So we're actually going to be entering Jim Thorpe once we get to the bottom of this hill. Here's the Lehigh River down below us. This thing probably can't see over the wall. <laughs> I could but it's, it. I but it's take it in. Welcome to Jim Thorpe, the gateway to the Poconos, the Switzerland of America. So just a couple facts about Jim Thorpe. Um, Jim Thorpe wasn't always called Jim Thorpe, it used to be Ma Chunk. And I remember listening to my grandparents growing up calling him Ma Chunk. And the story goes that something, um, I forget when exactly it happened, but the area was looking to bring in some tourism and some industry and whatnot. And they were looking to do that. And the wife of the famous Native American athlete and gold medal Olympian Jim Thorpe, his wife was looking to make some money and said she would um, offer any town in the U.S. an opportunity to have to, uh, if they would inter his remains and rename the town after him, and they basically paid her to do that. Also, when we were stopped at that light, there was a bar there called the Molly Maguires. Now, that, that name might sound familiar because this area is actually where the book Molly Maguires is based off of. Those events actually happened here, and this town was actually home of where four men were hanged for murder during the whole uh, Molly Maguire's happenings. And supposedly in the old jailhouse, there's actually like a handprint that they keep uh, cleaning it off and it keeps coming back. So supposedly haunted courthouse. We made it. We're here. A little cold. So this is the cold. Turnhole Tunnel in the Lehigh Gorge State Park. So this is a tunnel they originally dug to get through the mountain to connect, uh, I forget which rail line it was, but the idea was to connect the rail line from Whitehaven to Jim Thorpe. Max, when was this made? What can you tell us about this? Um, I honestly don't remember and I forgot to print out my cheat sheet, but I believe it was the late 1800s or maybe it was 1911 that this is made to connect the line from Whitehaven to Jim Thorpe. Whitehaven's a little further north of this. And as you can see, it's double wide. There's actually, there were actually two sections of rail through here. And I believe they stopped using it as a main connecting line somewhere around, actually it might've been about 1911 they stopped using it. And then for the subsequent Three decades. Future Mad Max here. I was not a good Boy Scout on this day. So this tunnel was dug in 1866. Bypass 4 it was completed in 1912 and it was used for passing trains until it was ultimately abandoned in 1956. The only good thing is water's dripping in here, which means there aren't any icicles above us. And as you can see, there's actually 
There's one set of track, and there's the other set. This is actually a double wide. Head for the light at the end of the tunnel, Jimmy. There's all the light at the end of the tunnel. Yes. Not always an exit, though. Yeah. It's just a freight train coming our way. I can see the light at the end of the tunnel. Let's hope it's not a train. Oh yeah. Here's what remains of the original trestle that went across the river right here. That's quite a view. And then there's the remains of the new one, which is now part of a trail you can use to go across. All right. It looks so much different coming the other way. I guess we're gonna see how this camera does with uh, low light. Yeah. How much different the tunnel looks without the sun in your face. Looks like a little bit of a cave in here at some point. Now here you can really see the double wide tracks. It's kind of weird how hard packed the dirt is. You can actually hear like the cloth of our boots echo. So fun fact, that is a train that launches out of Jim Thorpe that you can actually go for rides on around the track. And we didn't time that, that just, that no. just happened. No. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say, we have emerged, reborn from the crust of the earth. Special regulations apply. It is unlawful to fish in river streams designate approval without blah 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 currents, trout, salmon. Well, we already follow that. Anglers may not harvest during the period from March 1st until the opening day of trout season in this county. All trout caught during this period must be immediately returned unharmed to the waters from which it was taken. Okay, so this looks great. Not beyond running back and grabbing my pole to take a cast right here. And here's what, well, here's what I really came to see. 
the tunnel. Nah. You're gonna have to get out there. The thing, not 20 minutes ago, we were up there. How cool is that? As you can see, there's a trestle. There's where it came across. So we're back in the studio, and leading up to making this video, we actually got a little map, included some board, and we actually pinned out all the locations that are on this list that we intend to hit. So, and as we go, and we visit these different locations, we're gonna pull the pins off the map. And over here, I have a list of everything. We're gonna scratch them off. So today we saw the turnhole tunnel, which would be right here. That's pin number 10 slash 26 on the list. For some reason, it's on there twice. So, Dave, I'm gonna let you do the honor of removing the pin. All right, pin is out of the map. Time to scratch it off the list. Lehigh Gorge Turnhole Tunnel. Also, for whatever reason, the website lists this one twice, so... Yeah. Done. So anyway, we managed to get a pin off the map. It's the first of many trips we're going to take to start exploring the various locations around Pennsylvania on this list. Now. When we were up there, we discovered some interesting things. For example, Lehigh Gorge State Park is just absolutely gorgeous. And the Glenanoco Falls Trail may be closed, but it looks like the Scenic Overlook Trail is still open, which I think we're going to go and investigate that in the future. Definitely have to do that. That would be worth a trip. Not only that, but the Lehigh River up there certainly looks like it has a lot to offer. In addition to that, just north of Jim Thorpe, I learned that there was 2,700 acres that was recently granted as state forest. And in addition to that, there are a couple tributaries up there which are supposed to be really good wild brook trout streams. And we're definitely going to have to take a look at that. Definitely. Absolutely. So, what's one location off the list? Only that? one thing left to do. Stay mad. Stay dirty. All right. I just realized the fatal flaw.